What's going on guys, it's Pixelated and we've got something special on our hands today. It's one of those things that you were not expecting, you didn't ask for it, but you got it and you're extremely happy that you got it. Today we're looking at Jordan Brand's collaboration with PSG or Paris Saint-Germain. Shout out to Canada French classes for that one. We're looking at the Air Jordan 4 PSG. This is something that I was not expecting, but I'm truly positively surprised that these came out. I've been pretty vocal in the past about Jordan brand not being very creative or just not pushing the Jordan 4 when it comes to collaborations that really kick it up a notch. You know, the type that give the sneaker a little bit more oomph than the typical colorway. I mean, let's be honest, we've got something similar here too, and this almost fits into that category, but there are a lot of neat little features on this shoe that sets it apart from a standard Jordan 4 colorway. We'll get Get into that later on. These sneakers released on October 10th, 2020 for 225 US dollars and 300 Canadian dollars here in Canada, which is standard pricing for the Air Jordan 4. There weren't many releases here. The releases that were here were mostly online, first come, first serve. There was one raffle that allowed you to pick them up in store. It was a Foot Locker raffle. Unfortunately, I ended up taking an L on that. So this pair right here is actually my friend Chris's who ended up getting the W. While these sneakers sold out instantly, they're actually going for really great prices in the aftermarket, like literally 50 50 to 80 dollars above retail so i've left a link in the description below where you can go ahead and get your size guaranteed if that's something you're interested in if you don't know what psg is it is the paris saint germain football club shout out to canada middle school french classes once again it is a french professional soccer club yes i call it soccer everybody knows what soccer is even the people who call it football no one's going to confuse it with American football, so there's a plus side to that. The soccer team has big name players like Neymar and Kylian Mbappe. Again, shout out French classes that I opted out of as soon as I could. Now, before we get into what makes this shoe so special, make sure to hit that like button. If you enjoy this video at any point, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. And make sure to hit the Noti bell and join Noti gang so you don't miss out on future videos. We've got a different format for the on foot today just because it wasn't me who got the dub, it was Chris. So I figured it would be better to give you a more visually pleasing look at these so instead of filming these indoors in front of a backdrop we filmed outside with a moving camera instead of a standstill so let me know what you guys think about this honestly i probably won't permanently change to this just because of the change of the seasons and it's just more efficient and consistent to do it indoors either way you guys get a different perspective this time around with that being said let's get into the materials starting off with the box instead of the standard jordan 4 box with cement print we have this psg branded box that has a maroon lid and what's special about it is when you open it up there's a soccer field print over overlaying the entire interior of the box. Of course, as a reference to the sport PSG plays, this looks like a very high-res turf print, so shout out to Jordan Brand for that. The upper of the sneaker is made of the traditional Jordan 4 materials. Majority of the upper is made with this white leather that is actually very soft and nicely tumbled. We've got it on the top of the toe as well as the side panels. This white leather also makes up the heel, ankle, and eyelet portions of the shoe. Oftentimes, we get relatively stiff or not the best leather on Jordan 4s, especially when it comes to white leather. But in this case, these are on the higher end of what's offered here. We've got the white netting making up the vents on the sides of the shoe and majority of the tongue with black mesh underlay. I know on the on foot it looks like there's actual color under the netting, disregard that, that's just an issue with the lens I'm using, it's a relatively affordable lens, let's just leave it at that. It's doing a thing known as chromatic aberration that causes it to show these weird purplish green outlines along thin edges, so that's what you're seeing here, but just know that it is black. We've got a white tongue with the nice leather and black patch stitched on with Jumpman branding. We have the plastic wings in black and the wing tips in purple or Bordeaux on the top and bottom eyelets. Now here's something that makes the shoe special and makes it stand out over a standard Jordan 4. We've got this gray leather finish forming the rest of the toe box and this black tab that says Pan Am on it. It is a nickname for the city PSG is based in, the city being Paris obviously. The gray toe box isn't something new, I believe the last we saw it was on the military blues or the green glows, but it adds that light hit of contrast that makes it stand out more than the typical all white leather upper. We have the black heel counter and pull tab in Bordeaux with Jordan PSG branding on the heel instead of the standard Jumpman or Nike Air branding. Not only that, but we have these black Wi-Fi looking rubber grooves on the pull tab instead of the standard square bumps we get on there. And to top it off, we get a nod to Paris's zip code with the 75 hidden neatly on the other side of the pull tab. The sock liner of the shoe is made of black fabric with Bordeaux fabric on the back of the tongue and has the football club's signature chant, Ici c'est Paris, or 
This is Paris on the insole. Finally, we have a midsole with portions in Bordeaux and black color blocking and the exposed Nike Air unit window and a black Bordeaux and white outsole. When it comes to sizing, I wasn't able to get this pair myself, but I'm relatively certain they fit true to size. As with most, if not all Jordan 4s, they fit true to size for me. Chris got them in his true to size. He's a size 12, I'm a size 10, and we both wear our true sizes on the Jordan 4s, so I'd recommend the same with these. When it comes to comfort, Jordan 4s aren't really known for their innovative cushioning tech and as with any Jordan 4s you get a good amount of support here you even get a pretty solid midsole but don't expect anything special in terms of cushioning these still hold for casual use just don't go crazy trying to go on full day walking activities with them if you're looking for something with spongy or some sort of shock absorbing cushioning these aren't for you. The Paris Saint-Germain football club is known for being one of the most dominant forces in their league, being the most successful French football club in history, winning countless championships over the years. They don't wear ball shoes on a soccer field, of course that would be ridiculous, but these Jordan collabs are cool for their fans or just for the people who mess with the extra details and the colorways and this shoe kind of broke me because I did take the L. But at the same time I'm super excited to see Jordan Brand give the Jordan 4 one of my favorite silhouettes of all time the attention it deserves. Would I wear the PSG 4s? Absolutely. Ultimately, this is one of the more unique and special offerings of the Jordan 4s in recent times, understandably not in the league of the more unique Union X Jordan 4s or the Off-White Jordan 4s, but those are the exception to the rule. In my opinion, these are still a step above, let's say, the What The 4s or the White Cement 4s. What's your take on the PSG 4? Would you rock it? Are you a fan of the football club? Or do you just not like this colorway at all? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for me, I'll catch you in the next one. Pixelated is scoring a goal.